Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for my lovely Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading, I want to wish you guys happy holidays. I hope you guys have an amazing time. Let's get into your reading. Uh, Cancer, let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of December 2020. I do want to apologize if you guys hear noises in the background. I live by the mountains and it is extremely windy right now. Anyways, when shuffling your cards, uh, these two cards popped out. I put them back in and I continued to shuffle and they popped out again. So this is Spirit's message for you. We have the Six of Pentacles with the Empress card. I feel that there's a lot of opportunities that are going to be coming to you, Cancer, in regards to business and finances or opportunities to connect with people around you that are going to really help you open up doors for you when we're talking about finances and abundance. The Six of Pentacles is um, the universe, uh, the universe giving to you or echoing back, uh, giving you more reasons to feel blessed and to feel bountiful. The Empress is all about creativity. It's about abundance. It's about um, really being able to tap into your creative outlook or really connecting with um, with that uh with that abundance type of energy and we have the three of cups here celebratory type of energy i definitely feel that for you cancers for this month there's a lot of blessings that are coming your way for some of you guys even unexpected opportunities that pretty much uh fall on your lap without you really trying very hard uh pay very close attention um because i feel that with the six of pentacles here if you guys can see very close up there is like a lot of hands, um, a lot of hands, in the, and this is like perfect balance or having enough to be able to share. Uh, but I feel that with what these hands, I feel that it's these are doors opening up to you. These are this is the universe making things happen for you and really opening new doors, new pathways uh, that are going to make it or facilitate. Um, being able to create with the with the empress card here so you guys are going to definitely feel very inspired in this month um now with the empress card here and the uh, three of cups sorry uh what they're saying here is again i feel that for a lot of you guys there's going to be some type of feeling of celebration and yes i know we're around the holidays but i don't feel that it's that what they're showing me here, it's almost like um, perhaps going into a cycle in your life where you feel more financially stable and you feel you're definitely feeling like love for some of you guys, especially those of you guys that are single. Uh, they're telling me that there is a lot of love or people around you that are interested in you that are really like vibrating to your energy. Uh, they're seeing you as a very like a very beautiful individual not just on a superficial level but uh, very in tune with your emotions cancer and the three of cups for some of you guys this could be uh surrounding yourself or going to a social outing or some type of event uh where you feel that someone just can't keep their eyes off of you i feel that for some of you guys those of you guys that are single love is definitely around you um, if we look at the six of pentacles here with the empress card, you see the empress, like she's just looking like she has this steady look. And I feel that this is an individual, uh, that is definitely, you're definitely going to catch their eye, uh, with the dove at the top. It is a representation of love. So again, I feel that for those of you guys that are single, if you get invited, um, to a social outing or some type of gathering or some type of party, uh, definitely don't miss out even if you feel like you kind of don't want to get out of your comfort zone do it because i feel that there's definitely a connection coming through for you now we also have here the six of cups so yeah i feel that love is definitely going to be something that is going to be taking center stage for a lot of you guys especially those of you guys that are single um while others of you with the six of pentacles this could be an individual from your past this could be an earth energy taurus capricorn virgo um and I feel that you're, for some of you guys, if there's no contact with this person, I feel that they've like they came into your life at a certain point 
where I think there was like a transition happening with you. Now, this could have been a, trans a transition of like becoming more mature. It could have been that at the time when you met this person, you felt like you were immature or you felt like you weren't ready. Uh, it could have been that you weren't financially stable uh, or you just weren't stable in general. Um, and I feel that this th this person, what they're telling me with the Empress and the Six of Pentacles, this was an individual that at some point in this connection, there is a lot of insecurities that took over you, Cancer. Uh, insecurities in the sense of like feeling that you weren't worthy enough or feeling that this person had so much to give um, and you couldn't reciprocate. Now, it could have been that you weren't fully aware or perhaps you weren't like embracing this connection because I felt that I feel that it was a very genuine connection. Um, but I feel that you weren't just you weren't ready. Uh, for some of you guys, if you were dealing with this person, or if you know specifically who they're talking about right now, uh, with the Three of Cups, it could have been that you chose to party and to be out there and having fun um, over them, over like wanting to settle or wanting to create some type of relationship. And I feel that now you're coming into terms with the Six of Cups. I see you guys like really either hearing about them or knowing what they're up to and it's there's almost like a feeling of I missed out or I could have like it, it's a feeling of some type of like regret for for some of you guys um and the six of cups does talk about them being still constantly either in your life or con you're constantly uh having them like in their in your mind um and there's like a feeling of wanting to reach out or wanting to communicate what they're showing me here, Three of Cups and Six of Cups, I feel that this person um, genuinely did have feelings for you, but I feel that you weren't just ready. Now, this could be vice versa because it is a general reading. So it could have been them uh, that chose the parting and the going out and instead of wanting to build something more long lasting. However, I feel that in the coming, like throughout this month, even going all the way to January, I feel that there's going to be an opportunity uh, to rekindle this connection for some of you guys. Uh, these are specifically for those of you guys that did kind of go through a situation where it was almost like the relationship didn't take flight because one or the other just wasn't ready. Um, but I feel that the connection is still there. The emotional connection is still there. Let's see what Spirit's message is. Spirit, what is the direct message that you have for Cancer? for this month of December 2020. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now, for those of you guys that have been trying to have children um, or are planning to have children, I feel that December is going to be, you're going to become very fertile. So if you guys are not trying to get pregnant, uh, just be careful, especially those of you guys that are single and you go out for you know a night of drinks, um, just be careful because uh, the, the Empress card does speak about pregnancy with the Six of Cups and the Three of Cups. Uh, it's kind of like um, not really planned. So again, uh, just be careful with that. Also, for those of you guys that are currently going through a situation where you feel like you missed out on an opportunity in the past in regards to love and romance, if you have a tendency to use escapism, whether it be through drugs, through drinking, I've, I'm feeling more of like the drinking or eating. Uh, be careful with that. For some of you guys, you could be going through a situation where you feel like, um, <clears throat> where you felt uh, in the past, like there is some type of void that you're trying to fill. Um because the Three of Cups and the Six of Cups is a lot of water energy and it is talking to me about um, some type of substance issue. So just be careful with that, okay? All right, let's see what Spirit's direct message is for you for this month of December 2020. Okay, here we go. Your message is drop the fucking ego. In the back it says vulnerability is hot as fuck. 
Yeah, so I feel that this could be a message directly connected to those of you guys that um, are missing or thinking about a person from the past where the relationship didn't really take flight um, because either you or they were just not ready um, and they're coming back around or you're hearing about them or you could yourself could be looking at them through social medias and stuff like that. Uh, what they're telling you is if you really feel like this person um, is worthwhile and it's worth you fighting for, drop your ego. Reach out to them. Uh, with the Three of Cups and Six of Cups, I feel that the energy is going to be very receptive. So I feel that they're still emotionally connected to you as well. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. Like, share, and comment. And we'll see each other soon. Happy holidays, my lovelies. Bye.